Hey everybody, I'm at the R&D lab at EG4 Electronics with our new 12,000 XP off-grid inverter, which I'm going to be pitting against a 5-ton AC with no soft start and a load bank that's filled with 7 kilowatts of draw. Now, we did this test previously with our 12k PV hybrid inverter, which has a slightly lower continuous output of 8 kilowatts AC, whereas our 12,000 XP off-grid unit has a 12 kilowatt AC continuous output load. So let's go ahead and start up our 5-ton AC. I have Frankie over here on the breaker to flip it whenever I clap my hands like this. And we can see over here on the side of our oscilloscope that there was a little bit of a blip. But now, after that inrush current has subsided, we are at a continuous load output, clean sine wave, everything is nice and dandy. Let's go ahead and turn off our AC unit, and we're going to load up the inverter with that 7 kilowatts of power. <coughs> Excuse me. And we can see over here on our inverter, we have about 6.7 kilowatts of load. Let's start our 5 ton back up. And there we have a five ton AC running with a seven kilowatt continuous load, which is likely much more than an off-grid system is likely going to be running uh, at most times. And on our inverter over here, we have a continuous load of 10.5 kilowatts, which isn't even up to the limit of the continuous output of this inverter. And it can run like this ad infinitum all the way to the end of your usage. So, you know, your stuff will start dropping off and your inverter will ramp up and down, handle all of that nicely. This off-grid inverter is super powerful, capable of handling anything that you throw at it in an off-grid setting. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.